Cobra Kai screams redemption and evolution and the passing of the torch very eloquently with, you know, without, you know, kind of um, shutting out the main characters and you know, just to highlight the new ones, you do it in this really nice way. We see Crease in the beginning where we kind of like hate him and then we feel sorry for him and then we hate him again. And then now he's in a completely different position where he's kind of like the lesser of two evils almost um, where he seems like he could be redeemed. And I feel like he was looking at Johnny when Silver was beating him up. Like there was a moment there where he could maybe turn against Silver. And now I feel like maybe he will. Is there any sort of redemption at all for Silver? Or is he like totally the emperor? You know, the interesting thing about season four is not that he was redeemed, but it was almost like, you know, you saw the emperor kind of like having given up and retired and been like, yeah. that was a mistake, <laughs> you know, like at the <laughs> beginning. So in some ways you already saw him, I don't want to say redeemed is, is not necessarily the word, yeah. but, you know, Terry sure. is um, at the start of season four. We, the analogy that we always used, again, we think outside of the Karate Kid universe, you know, when, uh, like we think of audiences besides Karate Kid fans. Most people haven't seen Karate Kid 3. How do we relate? How, do, how does an audience relate to this character if they haven't seen it? Our thought was these are like two old bank robbers. And this was a guy who's retired. He's out of the game. He's got a new life. He's got a wife, not a wife, but like he's got, yeah. you know, a new life. And this old, you know, his old uh, accomplice comes back and is like, hey, one last score. Come on, let's do it. And that that's thats their dynamic, you know, yeah. as, as we start that off. And you see, you know, where he ends up going. And I know there's a lot of people online that talk about like, oh, he goes, he becomes Karate Kid 3, Terry, at the end of the season. And I think there's elements of that that are clearly there. But also, he is still the guy who remembers what happened in Karate Kid 3. And so, you know, he is, while, you know, uh, having those same kind of, you know, visions of grandeur for Cobra Kai that he did in the Karate Kid 3 days, he's also this guy who remembers how they fucked things up. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's ways that makes him, uh, that could make him more rational or more dangerous or both. I, I think- I was just going to say, I think our approach with every character on the show is you want to be able to see their point of view. Like, right. we don't think that any, uh, like, we don't think Terry Silver thinks that he's being evil by wanting to expand Cobra Kai. We think that he, that there was lessons that were valuable to him and that he saw valuable to others in life. And he thinks he's doing good by yeah. spreading the Cobra Kai gospel. So right. I think that like, you know, when it comes to like, is, is someone redeemable or not? Like, you know, it's all a matter of perspective. I think we think like all of the characters, you know, have good in them and have bad in them, but you may think something's good and they may think it's bad and vice versa. Right. Um, so no redemption necessary for Terry. He's just yeah. great. He's right. already awesome. He's already you're, great. You're, you're taking that Obi-Wan line and everything's from a certain point of view. So. 